Welcome, Scottsburn Recreation and friends of Scottsburn Recreation. My name is Ty Strickland and I'm a lifelong bike rider and promoter of BMX bike riding. Join me on this journey to bringing BMX to Scottsburn. Alright, I thought I would make this video because we're not doing a lot of getting together um, due to the COVID-19 and uh, I and a number of other members of Scottsburn Recreation are doing what we can while social distancing and trying to keep keep the dream alive out here, so to speak. Um, I just just started posting again a little bit more information about the BMX track on Facebook, and I've already been getting a couple questions and. Uh, I'm glad that you you've asked the questions because it's got me. It's nice to see people people are interested because it's got me getting back into the uh, the program and it's a good time to uh, be back get back to work on things. Um, you know we don't know how long this co the COVID business and the social distancing is going to go on for, but you know there's things that we can do while social distancing and we don't want or need to let this summer go to waste. So uh, I'm, I'm back at it trying to do what I can to work towards the goals of getting a track built. Um, let's see, where, where am I at? I'm going to check my notes. Um, okay, so I noticed uh, a question about the plan for what what is the plan for the track what what kind of plans do we have um, and so anyways I've been designing researching and designing <clears throat> uh, a track and and ways to make it happen ways to implement it uh, you know materials construction all this type of stuff for the last little while um, as I said, this spring we were supposed to have a, a meeting about it to the uh, to, to show it to, to explain to the public a bit about what this is going to be and what it's going to entail. But we didn't get to have that meeting, and so there's a lot of information that hasn't got out to to people as it should. And so that's why I'm making this video. Um, and why I'm, well, also why I'm making the video, it's. Uh, it's probably a quicker way to explain the many different ways that things could go. You know, there's there's many different uh, as things progress, as we get started, things can go in different directions depending on the turnout and uh, the interest and uh, you know how far we really want to take things. So the plan that I originally came up with was um, basically a place to ride. Um, the design that I had, the design that I, the, the plan that I designed, um, the track that I designed is a basically a scaled down BMX track, like scaled down from a full size BMX track. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it, trying to make a place to ride and yet keep it realistic and practical and something that we can achieve to get started and to, ha to have a place to ride. So um, a full scale BMX track is very big. Um, you have eight riders at a time, so it's, it's, it's pretty wide and there's, there's a lot of things, um, it, it's going to be very expensive for one. We, we right now we don't have any racing in the Maritimes. I'm hoping this track that I'm talking about will bring interest into BMX and then maybe we will we will either expand and make a full-size track or somebody else somewhere will make a full-size track and maybe we can lead to that, maybe we can lead that, maybe it doesn't. Um, but uh, anyways, the track that my design was, was, was as I said, like a scaled down, uh, the beginning of a track, 
the beginning of a track and a place to ride and train. So, so I was thinking about like wide enough for three or four riders maximum. Um, just just scale down um, to make to make a, a place to ride and practice. As I said, not not as big. Um, a full size track. It has anywhere from from four or more straights. So that means you know you have your obstacles and your turns, but you have at least at least four straights. So uh, the track the track that I am proposing, uh, conservatively budget wise, uh, what I came up with was um, kind of an N shaped track, which is um, if you can picture it, the letter N. Um, so you have at least you have two turns. You have a you know say a left and a right turn, so you have one turn each way, and uh, two maybe you could call the last one a straight two to three straights. So um, with the amount of dirt that I had budgeted out, and uh, in the equipment and the time that I'm trying to fit it into, um, we could get we could we could have as I said like an N shaped track. And, and uh, at least at least an end shape track, at least two turns. Two turns is is the minimum. Two turns is the minimum I would like to start with. So that's that's a conservative start. And as I said, that'll be with full obstacles, uh, jumps, rollers, uh, big berms. Um, as I said, and, and wide enough for a couple riders. Um, you know, again, it's not going to have a starting. We'll have a, a starting hill. We'll have a mound of some sort. Um, to start out on, um, and, you, and and basically we'll we'll be able to simulate BMX racing, simulate BMX uh, riding and racing. Um, you know, the starting gates itself. The starting gates cost a lot of money, and a lot. It's a lot of setup and a lot of maintenance and people to operate. And we're we're trying to build towards that. We're we're kind of doing a more. Uh, we're trying to do a grassroots kind of a, a humble. Back to the the grassroots, a humble beginnings of BMX. We're trying to do. We're trying to pioneer BMX in Nova Scotia here in Scottsburn. And uh, what what the plan is for the beginning is to get a track, get a place to ride, and get BMX happening in Scottsburn. Now, when we get there, depending you know who turns up. How popular it is, um, maybe we'll take it to another level sometime. Maybe we, maybe we'll take it to a full size track. Maybe we'll have we'll have races. Um, maybe maybe we'll keep it casual and keep it more of a more of a bike park. Uh, add on maybe build some jumps, some jumps on the, you know, uh, jumps on the side or uh, different different obstacles. Expand the track. Get a get a full length track, full size track. Um, you know, we could expand onto it after we get it rolling. Maybe we can get a get a club, and if we get the families together that uh, that are interested in it, um, we can build from there. So this is this is just what I came up with on my own. You know, as I said, trying to pioneer this style of riding and, and bring a spot, a much needed spot, uh, to ride to Scottsburn. So let me see what else I have in my notes here. Other other ideas um, aside from the track, the track build itself. Other ideas that we came up with. Uh, thank you to uh, some of the ladies at Scott Spring Recreation Club. Um, loner bikes. Possibly we could, uh, you know, if we have kids that want to get into BMX, they don't they don't have a BMX bike or they they're um, the family can't afford a bike or they want to just try it out, maybe we could uh, get some loaner bikes, a couple different sizes of uh, BMX bikes uh, for the kids to uh, to try out. Um, what else What else do I have here? And okay now I'll get to the I'll get to the part about materials. Um, I priced I priced it up for the for the track in the size that I planned, the price came up to 
somewhere between $15,000 and I'm going to say between $15,000 and $20,000. The majority of it is going to be dirt itself. It's going to be a lot of dirt, a lot of trucks coming in with a, with a lot of dirt. Um, the berms, which are the turns, they eat up a lot of the dirt themselves, so uh, that's going to be a lot of dirt. But as I said, the, the dirt is taking up like $12,000 approximately um, in my plan that I have now. Not saying everything is concrete, um, but, but that that can be uh, that can change. Excuse me. That that can change. Um, it's it's uh, it's a variable. Uh, we have grants available. The grants um, they pay for. Excuse me. The grants they pay for up to one third of the cost. So, if we can get donations, if we have dirt, um, if we have anybody that's got got dirt to bring in or extra dirt or or you know anybody that wants to uh, drop dirt off, you could contact me, meet me, and drop off dirt and we can we can add that into the budget because everything we get donated is also it also adds up to what we're paying and at the end of the the project we can submit the receipts and the donations and um that's going to add that's going to they they're going to add to up up to a third so as i say it's possible that we can if we have Community participation and uh, donations. We can uh, we can maybe cut the cost a bit. Um, right, so I'm going to wrap up talking about the budget. So the dirt itself is going to be twelve 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 thousand dollars, something like that, um, depending on how it goes, depending on what we can get for donations, um, and the rest of the budget is going to be rentals. Um, I was looking at Bobcats. I priced a couple different uh, places for Bobcats, and uh, anyways, I can't remember what it is right now. I have it written down somewhere, but the, the whole thing comes to with the Bobcat and the tools we might we we're probably going to need, you know, wheelbarrows, shovels, all that type of stuff. It's it's I I budgeted it out to be approximately fifteen thousand dollars to get started, and and I just say as a round number, I just say twenty thousand dollars. You know. Um, because fun, as far as fundraising goes, if we could get twenty thousand, the more the merrier, you know. So twenty thousand is is a goal, but uh, the track I have envisioned, and uh, the the prices and the budget that uh, that it's going to be that I worked it out to be is is around fifteen thousand um, dollars. Anyways, so back to the loaner bikes. Uh, the loaner bikes. I spoke to Scottsburn uh, Elementary School and they said that loaner bikes could be kept there and we could uh, we could lend them out with, uh, with I, use a piece of ID or something like that and they would be safe safe over there, you know, bikes and we could have bikes and helmets, etc. Um, and keep them over there. Where else, what else do they have to, uh, to go over here? So, the dirt, dirt itself, we're looking for clean fill. Um, if you know anybody that has clean fill um, that they got to get rid of or that they need to dump somewhere, um, the type, as I said, the type of dirt we're looking for is, is clean fill. Um, you can contact me. Um, my, uh, my email is inbox, I-N-B-O-X, R-T music, R-T M-U-S-I-C at Outlook.com and my phone number is 902-485-6296 so if you if you have if you have any uh, clean fill that you'd like to drop off uh, contact me and we can arrange um, in a safe manner social distancing wise etc uh, we, could, we could work something out for uh, for dropping off dirt um, and from there, I wanted to say thank you for showing interest and support. Um, thank you to Scottsford Recreation Club 
for the inspiration and uh, working hard and being down, down to uh, try new things. People who are interested in BMX or getting your kids into BMX, if you have any questions or suggestions, go ahead and uh, contact me at my phone number or my email. Again, uh, I'll state my email once again at the end of, of this video. Uh, I'd love to hear you out. Um, again, this is what I've come up with so far to get started and uh, build a place to ride. Um, I, think it's, I think it's realistic and humble in my opinion. Uh, it's, 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 in my opinion, it's down to earth, it's practical, and I think we'll get a lot of use out of it. Um, I'm excited to see how it turns out. I'm excited to hear from you, and uh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, just let me finish up uh, the rest of my notes here and wrap this up and let you go. Um, again, we're going to do what we can while self-distancing and not let this summer go to waste and see what we can get done. Um, when we get it rolling, we'll have a place to come together and learn about BMX and uh, we'll, we'll take it from there. Um, again, it's a dirt track. It's going to be very low maintenance. You know, every 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 couple of years, maybe we uh, we will be able to get together and rearrange the track, rearrange the obstacles, add on to it, add some different turns, or make it go in a different direction or whatever. But it, it's dirt, so it's low maintenance, and uh, I think it's very practical. Um, from there, I just want to say uh, thank you for checking out this video, and I hope that I provided, um, I hope I provided the information that you need. I hope, hope, I hope I'm, I'm painting a picture um, for you of what I've been working on and what I've been planning for, um, for this BMX track. And we, uh, I've had a question on the Facebook, where is it going to be? And yes, it is going to be at the track at the at the uh, the park in Scottsburn, uh, the baseball field, tennis court area, um, we we are actually planning on building it in the baseball field because we don't have uh, we don't have a lot of baseball right now. We don't have a lot of turnout or a lot of kids that are uh, playing. So what we what we worked out, I had a couple different ideas for areas, but what worked out and what everybody has agreed upon was we're going to do it in the uh, the baseball field and I think that's going to be a great place uh, to build it because we have a fence um, you know a fence to keep the ATV people out or people that might mess it up you know what I mean um, and it's far enough away from the uh, the elementary school the kids the kids won't be distracted and uh, they won't walk through it when it's muddy and tear up the track um, and uh, I think I think that's about it um, I think it's going to be good over there. It's by the bike trail, so uh, or the hiking trail. There's, we have a lot of mountain bike traffic going through there, and uh, I think it's going to be very interesting to people. I think the people are going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be something. I think it's going to be good for Scottsburn, and I hope to hear from you. And uh, I'll see you out there. So contact me, and uh, thanks for listening. Take it easy.